guys. Uh, we got a special treat for your closer tonight. Honestly, one of my personal favorites. I saw him growing up. This guy's an absolute killer. You might have seen him on Comic View, BET's Comic View. Uh, he's on the first season of uh, some show on Hulu. I forget the name of it right now. But that doesn't demoralize that he's an unbelievable comic. He's one of my favorites. Show a lot of love. Clap it up. I told you you ain't had to say nothing, man. None of, these, none of these people know me. He, he saw him on some show. He even forgot the show. He asked me. I was, no, listen, I was back there. Hey, LaFar, you want, you want me to say anything, man, before I bring up? I said, no. Oh, come on, man. You did Comic View. You did some. Come on, man. I said, well, yeah, Comic View, and I'm on this Hulu show with uh, Amy Schumer, Life and Beth. All right, bro, I got you. And he forgot the whole show. Ah, really? <laughs> oh, boy. I love to talk on the phone. I like talking on the phone. I'm that annoying friend. You text me, I like to call you. <laughs> I love to talk on the phone. I'm, I'm the person, you know, am I the only one, like, if you driving a long distance, you just call somebody yeah. to ride with you? Yeah. And then when you get to where you got to go, time to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times people don't get the hint when you want to get off the phone. There's subtle hints. When I'm ready to get off the phone, we all do like a little song. We like, well, you know, when I go, well, that don't mean you go, yeah, man, what about the game? No, 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 no. It is time for me to go. Love talking on the phone. Don't butt down me either. Don't, don't do that. Don't butt down me, because I answer quick. Hello? Hello? <laughs> My bad, man. I, I butt down. Oh, no, you, you got to talk to me now. Because <laughs> I was looking forward to somebody to talk to, so we need to talk, man. There's a lot going on, this whole P. Diddy thing. I was, <laughs> you know, I was watching that. I, I, read the, I read everything, you know, with Cassie and all these people. But what scared me the most was... Uh, when when Luke's when Luke Luke Skywalker from Two Live Crew, when he said he left the party early. Now, I don't know if y'all know who Two Live Crew is. <laughs> he had all the women, they popping pussy, everybody <laughs> dick swinging, and he had post party go. Ah, ah, ah. We got to go. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Hell no. Is that a goat he got? Come on, let's get the hell out of here, y'all. That, that scared the hell out of me, man. See LeBron James, he trying to hang in there to, so his son can uh, get to the league. That's, that's interesting. I, I, you know, I wouldn't want my dad, like, staying at his job waiting for me. <laughs> my dad worked at Wonder Bread for 30 years. I couldn't imagine him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to hang in there one more year, and then I'm going to... Work with my son. <laughs> Couldn't imagine being in the NBA with my father. That it'd be too awkward. On the same team, you can't even be yourself in the locker room. You, you know, you trying to, you know, talk shit to your friend. Yeah, whatever. And then your dad come in. Ah, I threw you the goddamn ball. What, you wasn't looking. <laughs> I threw you the ball. You want to be in here dancing and playing and shit? That's your problem. <laughs> There's too much pressure on Bronny. I, you should tell his dad, like, Dad, nah, I'm good. I'm going to go to the league, but I, I'm not playing with your ass. Like, I, I can't do this. Oh, O.J. Simpson checked out. O.J. OJ went home to glory. O.J. got out of here. And the thing about it, look, I, I mean, look, I, you know, he just seemed like such a nice and loving man. I know he killed the people, but listen, he just didn't like them. It's not, it had nothing to do with the rest of it. It's just like when you block somebody on Facebook or Instagram. He just, they didn't, there was no way to block. He couldn't block her. And he blocked her and it's, but he was such a nice, he was so kind. I used to look forward to getting on Twitter and, good morning, Twitter world. 
Hey, how's everybody doing? Just nice. Walk slow all the time. He must have killed him in slow motion. <laughs> Good night, Twitter world. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get worse tonight, y'all. I don't know what y'all was thinking about it. Oh, OJ got out of there. I read he had his whole family gather around. It, that, you know, they all came to see him on his deathbed. That, that must have been interesting. Made him sign NDAs, too. <laughs> I would have been waiting for that information. <laughs> I'm sure, like, right before he went out, I got to tell y'all something. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Psych! And he just... <laughs> And he just went, he went on the rest. I wonder, what, I wonder what happened in heaven when he got to the gates. Man, could you imagine the dead people that just in heaven, the people see OJ at the gate? That must have been interesting. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Jesus, you think I can, uh, you think I can get in? <laughs> and Jesus said, sure, OJ, we forgive you, we're Christians, and other angels got upset with that. <laughs> How could you forgive him, Jesus? And then they got sent to hell. So now OJ's in heaven, and they're in hell. This is bad. I don't really know where this is going. This, this is really, it's really sad. And poor juice. Poor juice. <clears throat> it's a lot going on. Hip hop is in a decline. Hip hop is terrible now. It's terrible, man. I didn't realize how bad it was till I saw T.I. doing comedy. <laughs> T.I. left the game to be a comedian. I, I was at the QT gas station. I saw Andre 3000 come around the corner blowing a flute. I said, what the hell has happened? What has happened to our, to our dear hip hop? It's, it's, it's bad. It's like these, you got people that can barely read and write. They're just saying, so there's this special children that, there are special children that are like the number one rappers right now. They're they incoherent. These are the kids that couldn't pass the, the minimum basic skills test on Lean On Me. They are, they are our number one rappers now. What happened? Just music is just on the decline. Music in general. And you know what I blame it on? I blame it on... See, back in the day, it was, it was harder to get pussy. It was hard. It was so hard to get pussy back in the day that men would get together with other men and they would put on glitter suits and grow thick ass mustaches and they would get with their friends and sing love songs to the ladies. Four or five of them on stage. Big I just want to love you, woman. That's what they used to do. And they dancing and everything. Not no more. It's just, the price of pussy just fell through the floor. Right? And now you just see, I just want fuck, big fuck, big fuck, big fuck, big fuck, big It's just sad. All of, everything is out the window, especially with the technology and shit. You, you know, comedy fucked up now. It's, I mean, you could blow up from anything. It's, it's almost like now, you, you get online, just do something. It's like you hit the lottery. You could do anything. It's like, like right now, you see me, I don't sell a whole lot of tickets, okay? But I was thinking, like, if I blew up on TikTok and I was named Puddlefoot, <laughs> I could probably sell out theaters and just put my foot. Hey, y'all, y'all ready to see Puddlefoot? <laughs> Yeah, I'm part of foot, and you just tap it. <laughs> I just tap my feet in a puddle, and just thirty thousand people go crazy. Part of foot. 
And then I look at the hardworking comedians and call them haters. You a hater. This is talent. What, the, what? Let me show you. <laughs> That's the worst part, because you've been doing it for 30 years, and here Puddlefoot has... Puddlefoot is taking the world by storm. And there's nothing you can do. You can't even tell other comedians how you feel about Puddlefoot, because they want to open for him. <laughs> yeah, if I was hating on you, Puddlefoot, I knew he was a hater the whole time. He could put his foot in the puddle. It's just... It's, that's the only way you can talk like if your name Puddlefoot. Yeah, I talk like this. I'm Puddlefoot. <laughs> I, I took my wife to Intermezzo uh, last week. We like to go there to get coffees and cakes. And I was sitting at the bar, and I saw the lonely guy at the bar. You know, at every bar, there's a lonely man. He's by himself. And he's always looking to talk to somebody. And he started talking to me. I said, no, no, no lonely man. Nobody likes you. <laughs> I don't know about the game. I'm not talking to you. Because you're the lonely guy at the bar looking for a little conversation. Lonely guy at the bar, please talk to him. <laughs> but no, I like to talk, so I did talk to him. I say, yo, man, you from here? He said, yeah, I am. I am from here. I live right on Peachtree in the Metropolis, apartment 12, B. I'm like, I just asked you if you leave it. I didn't know you was, know you wanted to fuck. Man, that was, I'm not that kind of guy. I got hit on in Atlanta before this dude hit on me, and I ain't got nothing against no gay people. I got gay homies and shit. I, I, don't, I don't be tripping. What pissed me off about this brother that tried to holler at me, what pissed me off the most was that he looked exactly like me. <laughs> and I told him, I said, look, brother, you know, I ain't gay and no shit like that, but if I was, I, I think I can do better than me. <laughs> 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 Lonely guy at the barn. <laughs> and then he walked off, and all I heard was, Hey, come on, man. I got a comedy show. He was with Puddlefoot. <laughs> oh, boy. My brother live in New York. I live in New York, pay all that money. New York is rough, man. That's a, that's a rough place. Cost of living just too high. I was talking to a homeless guy out there. He was paying $800 a month <laughs> to sleep on the street. <laughs> My brother got a small place, small place, $5,000 a month, about 400 square feet. I went to stay with him because I had to do a show in New York. We went to sleep standing up. I said, good night. <laughs> Oh, I'm married. Been married for 14 years. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I do. I, you know, I, I, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just bad. It's fucked up out here. So I'm not, I'm not too sad about it. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that thing. Just stay put. Because this, this shit is... I was talking to a friend of mine. He's like a bachelor, you know what I mean? He cut up, big time actor, got Porsches and shit, and he very youthful. And I went because I was reading for this part, and uh, he was always he always youthful. And you know, I'm married, so I'm married. And you know, me and my wife, we had a little little arg, a little bit of argument. And I told him, yeah, man, me and my wife was arguing, and he just turned into like an old man when I said that. He turned around like his eye he turned around. This is exactly what he did. Hey, man, you stay with that woman. <laughs> Ain't nothing out here. God damn! <laughs> Is it that bad? 
It's bad, man. <laughs> it is bad. I, I, you know, you look, it, it seems like the grass is greener, but I, fuck that, I don't want to step on it. I'm, I'm just going to stay put. Now, if something happened, like if she died or something, I, I, you know, I wouldn't get married again. I told her that. You know, I told my wife, I said, one thing, <laughs> you are the alpha and omega of this shit. <laughs> Ask married people they gonna get married again. Most of them, hell no. Ask married person, you, you get married again? Fuck no. Fuck no, I ain't getting married. <laughs> Cause I do the whisper in this house when he talking shit. This bitch, this bitch, I'm sick of this shit. I'm the man of this fucking house. You know, you get, my come on! I talk to him. <laughs> you run back. Oh boy. Uh, my son is, is eight. And uh, good guy, good dude, but he's an asshole. <laughs> he told me the other day, he said, Dad, you look like you're in shape. I said, wow, thanks, son, that's, that's very nice. And he said, a spear <laughs> is a shape. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a spear is, it's a circle. I don't know, we got some minimum basic skill test people in here. I don't know. Did you pee? The piss? Good, good. She didn't like them OJ jokes. She didn't. You didn't hear my OJ joke? No, I was saying well, he killed the people, but he was a nice guy. <laughs> let, hey, let, let me quit for she, for she be doing this shit. You know what? I'm calling right now. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. I'm fucking with y'all. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I'm on Instagram a lot. I be on Instagram a lot, man. You ever be on Instagram and you following somebody? And then you check that shit, and it, it ain't like no celebrity, just some random person that you're following, and you check that shit, and they not following you. Don't you feel some kind of way? Like, what the fuck? You get that fuck? <laughs> fuck you ain't following me for. Like, your life better than mine or some shit. I unfollow quick. So I love to block, too. I love blocking people. Boy, I love that shit. Put that finger on them. Bow. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do that shit in real life? People piss your ass off. <laughs> you just disappear. Watch Black Mirror. Never see, huh? Watch Black Mirror. Watch Black Mirror? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that happen on Black Mirror? You can block people in real life yeah. when you don't see them no more? I think we had it that way. Because yeah. now, you know, uh, Elon Musk is putting that chip in people's head. Yeah, and based on how these Teslas been running, I'm not sure <laughs> you want to get that chip put in your head. Eh? I mean, what happened? That shit, we all going to have them. We, I'm telling you, this is, kind of, this is going into the future. Now, this chip, it keeps you online, you get your Wi-Fi, all your shit. I guess you talk through the chip, whatever, you know? I guess it'd just be fucked up if it go out and you got to reboot it or something. <laughs> Your woman just got the, the, the implant. She just got that chip in her brain. She just stopped talking. Could you go to the... <laughs> now you got to get on the phone to call to see how to reboot this bitch. <laughs> you got to do a hard reset on her ass like, a, like an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, uh... My wife, she just got the chip implanted and she seems to be froze. Okay, this is what you want to do. Grab her right ear and left nipple and pull. That will hard to reset system. <laughs> uh, 
you fucked up too, especially if you don't pay your bill on that shit. You cook. <laughs> you down there at the Neuralink Center, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to pay my. You see about 10 people frozen there, like, damn, they all cut them off? It's like... <laughs> It'll be that one friend that know how to, you know, hijack the system. You know, I can put, I can put that shit in your head. It's going to be that one person. <laughs> shit, I got them shits with low low shit. Come on, come on to the house. I put them in for you. The shit going to run. It's going to run a long time, I'm telling you. It'll be continuous. <laughs> You got a jailbroken Neuralink in your head. All you picking up is Tubi movies all day. Ah! Oh! Ah! I keep seeing Tubi's, nigga. What is happening? Get this shit out of my head, man. <laughs> your voice changing and shit. It's all kind of. You used to talk like that. Now you talk like that. <laughs> Yeah, he put that goddamn, that jailbroken neural link in my shit. Man, I keep talking like this. All right, guys, I got to go. Listen, it's been a great show. My name is LeVar Walker. Thank you, guys. Um, appreciate you. Good, good night. <laughs>